Ivor sang with Henry, just as he had dreamed, but never thought he would. Oh, it was lovely. It was like the hills and the valleys, the trees and the gasworks, all singing together, singing their praises to the golden evening sun. And Ivor was singing there as well. Steam was there, and proud he was of his little engine. So was Dye Station, and Claude, the station master of Tanny Gilch, Mog the plumber who put the pipes on for them, Owen the signal, and Mr. Pugh the pit, and at the back was old Morgan the roundabout, Count O'Eary's steam pipes. There at the back, standing very quiet, there was a tall gentleman in a top hat. Mr. Williams, the head office it was, come all the way from Marionette in his Rolls Royce, just to hear his locomotive sing in the choir. <laughs> 